If you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. I don't care that they stole my idea. I care that they don't have any of their own. Of all things, I liked books best. The day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Be alone, that is the secret of invention. Be alone, that is when ideas are born. The present is theirs. The future, for which I really worked, is mine. My brain is only a receiver, in the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge, strength, and inspiration. I have not penetrated into the secrets of this core, but I know that it exists. If your hate could be turned into electricity, it would light up the whole world. I do not think you can name many great inventions that have been made by married men. Everyone should consider his body as a priceless gift from one whom he loves above all. A marvelous work of art, of indescribable beauty, and mystery beyond human conception. And so delicate that a word, a breath, a look, nay, a thought may injure it. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart, like that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Let the future tell the truth, and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future, for which I have really worked, is mine. All that was great in the past was ridiculed, condemned, combated, suppressed. Only to emerge all the more powerfully, all the more triumphantly from the struggle. Life is and will ever remain an equation incapable of solution, but it contains certain known factors. We crave for new sensations, but soon become indifferent to them. The wonders of yesterday are today common occurrences. What one man calls God, another calls the laws of physics. If you only knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, then you would have the key to the universe. Invention is the most important product of man's creative brain. The ultimate purpose is the complete mastery of mind over the material world. The harnessing of human nature to human needs. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. 
The gift of mental power comes from God, divine being, and if we concentrate our minds on that truth, we become in tune with this great power. My mother had taught me to seek all truth in the Bible. The individual is ephemeral, races and nations come and pass away, but man remains. You may live to see man-made horrors beyond your comprehension. But instinct is something which transcends knowledge. We have, undoubtedly, certain finer fibers that enable us to perceive truths, when logical deduction, or any other willful effort of the brain, is futile. It's not the love you make. It's the love you give. Most persons are so absorbed in the contemplation of the outside world, that they are wholly oblivious to what is passing on within themselves. Every living being, is an engine geared to the wheelwork of the universe. Though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. My method is different. I do not rush into actual work. When I get an idea, I start at once building it up in my imagination. I change the construction, make improvements, and operate the device entirely in my mind. Progress along such lines will be impossible while nations persist in the savage practice of killing each other off. I inherited from my father, an erudite man who labored hard for peace, an ineradicable hatred of war. Most certainly, some planets are not inhabited, but others are. And among these, there must exist life under all conditions and phases of development. Inventors don't have time for married life. So astounding are the facts in this connection, that it would seem as though the Creator, himself had electrically designed this planet. Peace can only come as a natural consequence of universal enlightenment, and merging of races, and we are still far from this blissful realization. Great moments are born great opportunity. There is scarcely a subject that cannot be mathematically treated and the effects calculated or the results determined beforehand from the available theoretical and practical data. As I review the events of my past life, I realize how subtle are the influences that shape our destinies. The progressive development of man is vitally dependent on invention. It is the most important product of his creative brain. We are all one. Only egos, beliefs, and fears separate us. When natural inclination develops into a passionate desire, one advances towards his goal in seven league boots. One has to be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. One's salvation could only be brought about through his own efforts. The idea of atomic energy is illusionary, 
but it has taken so powerful a hold on the minds that although I have preached against it for 25 years, there are still some who believe it to be realizable. Originality thrives in seclusion, free of outside influences, beating upon us to cripple the creative mind. Be alone. That is the secret of invention. Deficient observation is merely a form of ignorance, and responsible for the many morbid notions and foolish ideas prevailing. Genius is its own passport, and has always been ready to change habitats until the natural one is found. One may feel a sudden wave of sadness, and rake his brain for an explanation, when he might have noticed, that it was caused by a cloud cutting off the rays of the sun. Science is but a perversion of itself, unless it has as its ultimate goal the betterment of humanity. To know each other we must reach beyond the sphere of our sense perceptions. My belief is firm in the law of compensation. The true rewards are ever in proportion to the labor and sacrifices made. The hard work of the future will be pushing buttons. These are only new devices for putting the weak at the mercy of the strong. The by far greater number of human beings are never aware of what is passing around and within them, and millions fall victims of disease and die prematurely just on this account. Merciless is the law of nature, and rapidly and irresistibly we are drawn to our doom. Antisocial behavior is a trait of intelligence in a world full of conformists. Marconi is a good fellow. Let him continue. He is using 17 of my patents. Of all the frictional resistances, the one that most retards human movement is ignorance. It will soon be possible to transmit wireless messages around the world, so simply that any individual can carry and operate his own apparatus.